Hello everyone, my name is Kasim Sidiu. I'm a PhD student under supervision of Professor Jan Sliemann at the Smart Data Analytics Research Group at the University of Bonn. And today I'm going to show you how to get started with Apache Flink, mainly on the Dockerized version of Apache Flink provided by Big Data Europe project and as well how the Flink is being used on Big Data Europe and how we can set up a complete pipeline where Flink is one of the components used there. Let's get started. On Big Data uh, pipelines, uh, there is no way to compute a single job by providing only for a single component. So for that we will need to have a pipeline which contains a lot of components which can can communicate and uh, uh, synchronize with each other. So let's let's take the simple example of a word count, which may need to set up HDFS in order to upload the file there to do word count, and then we will need also to set up the Flink cluster, which do a computation over this uh, file to make this word count uh, um, executed. So for that we need also to have this kind of pipelines which uh, which we will need to set up on our Big Data Europe project. So we will have the, uh, for, for each component which we are aiming to use on this pipeline we are injected a DNS entry point to show uh, the on the single uh, user interface which we are calling user interface integrator which is kind of a wrapper which contains all the uh, comp interfaces provided by components uh, on the single uh, uh, web user interface let's see this web user interface for now it uh, cannot be reached because there is no uh, pipeline running and to do to run a pipeline it's quite simple so we just need to have a docker compose file which contains or list all the images provided by Big Data Europe mainly also you can include your uh, your own images which may uh, let's say may compute a specific job for in your case so to do that it's simple we just need to do a docker compose up to get started and uh, the docker compose creates a uh, containers which we may cont are provided on our pipeline let's see if now this uh, user interface wrapper is already available as we can see it's up and running which contains all the pipeline or the components which are uh, showed on our pipeline like flink uh, master flink worker and as well htfs and you as a file browser virtuoso which will contain the uh, data for our uh, pipeline and as well the monitoring of the pipeline which we will show it in a minute so we will see that the task manager is already connected to the work uh, to the job manager and uh, as i said before the pipeline need to be monitored in order to get to know that every component which depend to each other can start in the proper way. So let's let's monitor the, uh, uh, the our simple Flink starter demo application, which, as I said before, here on these uh, uh, slides, it it contains the uh, HTFS Flink cluster, uh, the simple application which do some word count, and then we will need to set up or download the data. Uh, as output from the application. By monitoring means that we will need to see if every components are working and running properly. Let's see if HDFS is run up and running and then we will finish this step on the monitoring of the pipeline. Let's open a new window because we will need them for later. Let's see if the HTFS is running. HTFS is up and running and which contains two data nodes and one name node. And let's see if the HTFS contains any file as well. So
we see that there is one file on input and, and let's also uh, have a look if hue is up and running so we need to go to the hue a single component because it will require to log in in order to make it run and we can also uh, uh, upload and download files from HDFS provided by Hue. We have all, we have one file here, so let's make this word count running on this file, which is a readme file from Apache Flink. And we have seen that the HDFS is already up and running, so we we can conclude that this step can be finished. Done. We also saw that we have some data on HDFS provided by. Uh, provided by uh, a hue where we can upload some file and let's conclude that this uh, step al also is finished and now we need to see if uh, the flink is up and running flink is up and running and then we we now can start our pipeline to do a computation of uh, of the data let's have a look on the flink if there is any job running we can see now that there is no job running right now let's get let's play a, a demo application which do a word count by starting the flink and uh, see the output of the data on hue on hdfs which contains uh, the data over here output data there, there is no data right now let's get started and do a flink to do work done so we will need flink to run this word count and we can see that flink right now doesn't have any job running we need to wait a bit and now it's running and yeah it's completed successfully and word count is executed on our flink cluster on local environment let's go to the previous page where we can see the file already on htfs if there is a word count executed so we can see that the, the result of the word count is there to do, in order to download, we need to use hue again. And uh, hue provides this file browser manager to work with uh, HDFS. So let's download this, um, this file and see what it contains. We can see that the word count is already uh, computed. And let's have a look for flink. Flink have been used uh, 30 times on this readme file of Apache Flink and by this we can uh, argue that uh, our pipeline is already successfully completed and by that we mean that we can finish our pipeline monitoring that's it from me and please subscribe and watch what we are doing for the next upcoming uh, screencast. Thank you.